Hi, I'm Ron. I'm a first year dental student at Plovdiv Medical University and I'm, I'm here to give you some general tips about organising your time at uh, university. I'd say, firstly, the most important thing to do is uh, produce like an Excel document or something like that of a study routine where you uh, combine your um, like class schedule, so lectures and practical lessons, uh, and then formulate uh, study hours during that time. So for example, um, if you've got like a big space between two lectures and you just had one lecture, then you can go home and you know um, just write notes on what you did in that lecture. But also I would, I would implement something like um, a Pomodoro technique where you uh, spend like 25 minutes on a, on a task, then do a five minute break, then 25 minutes, then a five minute break and just continue that repeatedly. So instead of just doing straight up one or two hours of revision, uh, these 25 minutes into five minutes with, with the five minute break, it just makes it more, uh, makes you more, it's just more efficient and it's just better for, for yourself. So you uh, kind of stop yourself from like, procrastinating. And also obviously another tip would be Make sure you don't have like your phone near you or uh, something like that because that can be a real distractor. I, I know my friend, he used to use something called like app lock. So uh, during, a certain, uh, during certain hours, during certain time of the day, uh, you can, the app locks other apps like, I don't know, YouTube for example. So you can't, uh, if you try and use the application, it just doesn't go on it. Um, personally, I use an app called Forest, where it uses the technique of the Pomodoro timer, where it's like you can do 25 minutes of uh, proper work and then five minutes break at the same time. Like it's it's nice. You can like it builds a tree or something like that. Um, I also uh, use this app called uh, Habitica, which like it's like a it kind of acts as like a to do list, but also it's kind of um, it's kind of nerdy in a sense that it's like a game based so uh, for each thing that you cross off so for example like uh, morning study routine or like wash dishes or something you gain like experience um, on your character you get a character and you gain experience on the character and stuff and then you can you know if, if you uh, use the app with your friends you can go on quests together or something like that but yeah it's just a nice way to implement habits and uh, create better habits for yourself I'd also say definitely in terms of studying, make sure to in implement uh, active recall techniques like um, questioning yourself either by a flashcard or, or like um, just some diagrams or like just, just something like that where you test yourself so you're constantly, um, you just know, you, it's just better for you so you can understand and you know and like your retention will be better. Also, I would also like to say for studying, make sure to implement space time repetition. So, as well as active recall, where you're questioning yourself to like, um, so you actually know the content, you need to do space time repetition where you repeat it, repeat it like through like every week or every few other days or every every few days. So then you actually you could properly learn the content. So as opposed to just short-term knowledge, you can create that into long-term knowledge which can help you for your final exams. Of course you are here to learn and here to become a doctor or a dentist, but I would say really important thing is to have fun just because if you're just constantly just um, lonely or constantly just studying all the time but you're not having fun, then you're going to just um, lose out on like um, your social aspect because obviously if you want to be a doctor or a dentist, you're gonna you need the brains for it, but you also need to be able to converse with people and um, you also co converse with people and also you need to just you need to be a good person and a good doctor. So it's like I'd say just just make sure you have fun with your group. Uh, go out sometimes. I don't know. Go to like climb Mount Aoyosha or something. Go have food. Go go karting. Go bowling. There's a there's just a lot of things to do. At university uh, I don't have any lessons on uh, the weekend so the weekends like they usually just I can do whatever I want obviously I do a bit of work as well but it also gives me time it's like a refresh, uh, like refresh time uh, just to chill out so I can you know go go to my friend's house apartment 
or I can just go out with my group members. I would say to avoid burning out, obviously, um, just make sure. So burning out as in like if if you're working too much, and I suppose just just relax, just I don't know, read a book or something, or or just you know talk to your. Uh, talk to your friends, call back home, or just do something. Or you can, you know, just just walk outside with your friends. You can go walk up to like the senior fountains at night. It looks really nice. So just just relax. Uh, try and avoid burnout because you, you don't wanna you don't wanna be constantly look, like studying because it's just it's not it's just not good for you. Like you can't you can't physically um, keep studying. You need to have breaks. Make sure you. Um, eat kind of healthily like you, obviously doesn't mean you can't eat junk food but if you feel you, um, like, I don't know have a cheat day or, or two cheat days it doesn't matter but have a cheat day every once a week go out with your group you know go for dinner have do something fun but most of the time you want to kind of eat clean um, just because it's like gonna be good for your brain good for your mind good for your body make sure you also exercise or go to the gym or if not like just just go for a run or something doesn't really matter but just make sure you're like keeping yourself healthy just because um, without it, it's gonna be kind of difficult when you're focusing and studying like every Sunday and every Thursday, I just cook in bulk for like, uh, so for, for example, for Sunday, I cook for, for Sunday till about uh, Wednesday and then I cook on Thursday to Saturday. Um, and I just cook in bulk, so I make like a variety of different stuff. For example, oatmeal, uh, I don't know, rice and curry, or like, um, or just like chicken breast fillets and salmon. Uh, just make myself wraps or something. But I make it. I make sure I cook in bulk that way. When I come home, uh, rather than having to, um, rather than having to cook everything every single day, uh, and waste time that way, I can do this in bulk. So then out of two of the seven days I cook and then and then I can be more uh, efficient with my time and just do my other stuff like I can do my work I can uh, go out with my friends thank you for listening uh, for the tips and obviously quick disclaimer this is all uh, this is all like personal preference and uh, like it's, all, it's my opinion and obviously like all my tips um, they might not work for you, they, they work for me, but they might, might not work for everyone. But also, I hope, you know, these these tips do help you out. And um, obviously, um, you can, you know, get tips or get information from other people. For example, uh, like upper, upper, upper year groups, you can ask them. And obviously, the people here are really friendly, so you can easily make friends with an upper year, upper year student, whether it's dentistry or... Um, or medicine so you can just easily make friends with them and uh, you can ask them for different stuff uh, for like either resources or again study tips if you have any tips of your own uh, I'd love to see it in the comment section below uh, so I can implement your tips uh, into my uh, lifestyle as well and uh, yeah I hope you enjoy the video